The complement system consists of about 20 plasma proteins, known as complement proteins. These proteins are normally existing in an inactive form in blood. The main source of these proteins is the liver, and some are produced by the macrophages, and the complement C1 is produced by the gastrointestinal mucosa. These components are designated by the numerals C1 up to C9. These components are rapidly activated in response to an infection. The reactions of the complement system can be divided into three phases. That is, the initial activation phase, the early step inflammatory responses, and thirdly the late step membrane attack responses. In the initial activation phase, the complement activation occurs in two phases. The activation of the C3 component, which is followed by the activation of the attack complex or the lytic sequence. The critical step is the cleavage of the C3 by the complement derived enzymes termed as the C3 convertases. There are three pathways for cognizing microbes and activating this complement system, all of which can generate C3 convertases but in a response to a different stimuli. The classical pathway. It is an activated by certain types of antibodies which are bound to the antigen and is part of the humor immunity or adaptive immune response and is dependent on antibodies. The next pathway is the alternative pathway. This pathway is activated by microbial cell services in the absence of an antibody and is a component of innate immunity. Lastly is the lectin pathway. This pathway is activated by plasma lectin which binds to the manan or manos of the microbes and activates the classical system pathway in the absence of an antibody. Let's start with the classical pathway. The classical pathway was the first pathway to be described, and this pathway is activated by an antigen-antibody complexes in case of a bacterial attack where the antibody is either immunoglobulin M or immunoglobulin G. The reaction of immunoglobulin M and IgG with its antigen causes the conformation of change in the FC portion of the antibody to reveal the binding site for the first component in the classical pathway, which is the C1Q. The C1 protein has three parts, Q, R, and S, and C1 reacts with the FC portion via its globular heads and C1Q becomes activated. Once C1Q is activated, C1R and C1S are sequentially bound to generate an enzyme activity for the next C4 and C2 components. Splitting these components into two molecules, the A portion and B fragments. The A portion is the smaller part and B is the bigger part. This complex C4B and C2B is the classical pathways C3 convertase. Other fragments release the C4A and C2A which are released into circulation, vasoactive peptide which is released from C2 is known as C2A. C4B and C2B cleave C3 into two fragments, thus C3A and C3B. C3A possessing anaphylatoxic initiating release of instruments from the muscles and a chemotactic activity for the neutrophils and also C3B binds to the initiating complex and promotes many of the biological properties of the complement. The C4B, C2B and C3B complex generated is an enzyme known as C5 convertase and this cleaves C5 into C5A and C5B. C5B combines with C6 and C7 and inserts into the cell membrane. C8 and C9 binds with the C5B C6, 7 complex to form the membrane attack complex, resulting in the increased permeability changes in the osmotic pressure and cell lysis. In summary, the classical pathway results in lysis of microbial mammalian cells, which IgM or a doublet of IgG1, IgG2, and IgG3 antibody has been bound to membrane, followed by sequential fixation of C into the antigen antibody complex. C1Q arrays is bound initially via the C1Q, resulting in an enzymatic cleavage and fragmentation of C4 and C2B.
C4B and C2B burn to the cell surface as C4B and C2B becoming the C3 converters, which cleaves C3 into fragments C3A and C3B. C3B complexes with C4B and C2B to become a C5 converters, which cleaves C5 into C5A and C5B. Then C5B combined with C6 and C7 and inserts into the cell membrane. C8 and C9 combined with C5B, 6 and 7 complexes to form the membrane attack complex, resulting in increased permeability, changes in osmotic pressure and cell lysis.